What's going on, everyone? Time for another Mental Monday brought to you by Rudis. Thank you, Rudis, for making this happen. Um, today, we're, we're going to stick with the hypocritical mind theory where we were talking about last week. Uh, sometimes a coin has two sides, and most people think you either have to have one thing or the other thing, and they don't realize that both things are necessary to make that coin. Um, and so this week, we're talking about just a little different topic than we did last week. And this week, we're talking about mentality towards practice and mentality towards matches what, what you need to take to what and we I, i've told you guys many times that i wrote a book with a sports psychologist when i was a senior in high uh, senior in high school senior in college man i would have been a protege if i wrote a book senior in high school that would be sweet um and we sent out questionnaires to every division one NCAA champion in the past 50 years and one of one of the biggest things that came back you know there's there five or six really 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 important points um, was this beginner's mind theory, right? That they were open to learning, they never really thought they were great, and that they, there was a lot of different ways they could get better. And so one mistake I see so many, so many young people make is that they lose this beginner's mind. So at some point, um, you understand that you don't really know that much. Or you don't really, well, you don't know everything, right? And sometimes... Kids, it's funny because some it comes up to different things. Some kids win a U state title and they think they know it all. Some kids make it to state in high school and they think they know it all. And they they want they don't want to keep listening to their coaches or people around them or their teammates or anybody, and that really kills their growth in the sport. And so I know as I got better, um, I can tell you definitively one of the things that helped me keep growing was was when I was teaching camps. Okay, so I would do, teach a lot of camps in college and. One of the gigantic things was I was open to ideas from anywhere. So some little kid, some little seven-year-old says, well, Coach Ben, why do you do it that way? And then I can tell you sometimes I was like, well, why, why do I do it that way? I guess that's just the way I was taught. And then I would think, is that the best way to do it? Can I move my hands? Can I move my feet? Is there a different way to do it? And frankly, lots of times I would come up with better ideas, better ways to do it because I thought critically about whatever the skill was. Okay? And so when, when, you, want to, when you go to a practice, you need to approach practice that way. Uh, be critical of literally every single thing you do is the way you're finishing your high crotch the best way to do it is is the escape using a bottom the best escape you can use is uh, you know the strategy you're using the best strategy for you to win as many matches as possible so be, be really critical of everything you're doing going into practice have the beginner's mind where you're open to hearing advice from any and everyone um, doesn't mean you do every single thing that every single person says but it means you're going to take it into account you're going to think about it and if it's best for you you're going to do it Okay, you're not t tied or married to any specific thing. Um, now, on the other side of the coin, there is this, uh, I, you know what, I don't even have a term for it. I should, I should make a term for it. I know you guys like my terms. Uh, but it's kind of like a know-it-all, right? When you go into a match, you want to feel like you're fully prepared. And it, it, that's very challenging to do, especially when somebody has a beginner's mind, right? When they realize it's impossible for them to know everything and they don't really know that much. Um, for them to go into a match, they, they know everything. They're totally prepared. How could, I, how could I be any more prepared at this moment in time? And so obviously as a competitor, you have to realize I'm, I'm never going to know it all. But what, I'm go, what I have going to this match is totally adequate for me to do what I need to do to win this match. Um, and those are obviously two divergent mentalities. And lots of kids mess that up because they don't do both of them, right? They either have the one, being their mind, they're open to learning. Then they also take that into competition. That's not a good mentality to take into competition. Or, or they take uh, the know-it-all mentality into practice, which is a terrible mentality because you're, you're going to miss out on learning so many awesome, fantastic things when you, when you don't take that right mentality into practice. Um, and so, like I said, this could go a bunch of ways, right? You could have people taking the wrong mentality into practice. You have people taking the wrong mentality into competition. And if you really want to be great, if you really want to be really, really great at the sport, and this, I, and frankly, you know the way I talk, I think this stuff applies to literally, literally every single thing that you're going to do in life, okay? If you can keep this beginner's mind and this know-it-all mentality and you keep them in the right places at the right time, it's going to serve you very, 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 very well. So, I thought this was important. I was talking to some of my athletes today, uh, today, yesterday, about this, and that's kind of where you get a lot of the ideas, right? I'm talking to my athletes about what their problems are. I know if they're having some of these problems. You guys probably are as well. So I hope that answers some of your questions. Uh, I hope you can keep a beginner's mind always.
So he's the greatest wrestler on the planet. Well, like, a little bit like Kyle Snyder. Kyle Snyder's a beginner as mine. I guarantee it. I heard him talk about it. Jordan Burroughs does too. Um, and when you're going into competition, you think you know everything, you don't fear anything, and you're ready to crush it and be the best you you can be at that point in time. So, that's all I got. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be back next Monday. Peace.